I do know a little bit of well, thanks to Dory, so I will let him know that you all say hello. Now, if you thought Monstro was menacing, make sure to look to your left as we'll have the cave of the big bad wolf. He's always after those three little pigs on our right, but don't worry, they are safe and sound in their home. One made of salt, one made of stick, and one made of dirty feet. Whoops, this trick. And just around the river bend to our left, we'll have the quaint village where Alice grew up. When one golden afternoon, she stumbled upon the white rabbit, fell through that rabbit hole, and went down, 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 into a land where things only became curiouser and curiouser. All stories here at Storybooks have an element of pixie dust to them, like the one on the right of London Park, where the darling siblings, along with Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, were able to fly to Neverland, where they never, ever tried to grow up. And straight ahead, we have the city of Aftergun, where a street rat named Aladdin fell in love with Princess Jasmine. Even though they were from different worlds, through the power of love, and a little help from the genie, they lived happily ever after in the Sultan's Palace. I would tell you more about that palace, but I'm afraid we're just too just far away. And now the romantic part. And at last, we see these lights above us. These golden arches are the very arches that Jasmine and Aladdin flew under when they took their first part to die, soaring over, sideways, and under to a whole new world. And next we enter into the Cave of Wonders. If you look just ahead, you'll be able to see the magic golden lamp. In the examination of this lamp, this room will be granted to me with it, so let's all make a wish now. Let's see if it comes true. And on our right, we have the cottage of the seven doors who were kind enough to take in Snow White when she was slain from that evil queen. And if you listen closely, you might just hear her look so well she was. And on our left, we have the blue chateau where Cinderella grew up. Then one night, she wished to go to the ball, and her fairy godmother granted her that. But at the stroke of midnight, the magic ran out, and her carriage became a pumpkin. But though magic has its limits, love never fails, and she and Prince Charming are living happily ever after in the castle of Tom Sato. Now, while some of us wish for a happily ever after and others wish to go to a galaxy far, far away, most of us just wish for good night's rest, perhaps under a nice warm quilt. If you look to our left, we have a quilt of succulents inspired by Disney's 1933 silly Disney cartoon, Lullaby Land. And these succulents were made for us by our dear friend, Isabella Mexico. I don't know about you, but I feel like I could sleep there for two hours. Two hours. All stories here at Storybook have been created and inspired by the magical mind of Walt Disney. And though he is not with us anymore, he continues to inspire all of our stories to this day. Stories of adventure, like we'll see on our left, in the stately manner of Mr. Toad. But I'm sorry folks, Mr. Toad is not in right now. He's on his motor cart to nowhere in particular. Or stories of love, like we see on our left, in the kingdom of Arendelle. When Queen Elsa fled to her icy palace, her sister Anna never let her go, proving all families can weather even the harshest of snowstorms. And straight ahead, we have the Alpine Village, where Geppetto made Pinocchio. And when Pinocchio wished to be a real boy, he was granted that by the Blue Fairy when he saved Geppetto from Monstro. Don't forget a little Yuki! The old kid over there, he always has those big summer blowouts. Let's see if we can get his attention. Yes, you're open! We'll be pausing here just briefly. <laughs> Ready? We can do it again. Alrighty, my friends. We cannot finish our stories today without talking about a little mermaid who was part of our world. She traded fins for feet, 
fell in love and lived happily ever after with Prince Eric in the castle. You are right. But if you look through that waterfall, you might be able to see the Mermaid Castle of Atlantica. As we approach the docks, my friends, I want you all to be mindful of all hands, arms, and fingers staying in our boat, as I will let you know when it is safe to stand and exit. 